Hello people, I was just uh, watching some TV. It is 1.49 in the morning. Yeah, and I'm still downstairs. I sound tired, but trust me, I'm really not. I'm just really... I don't know how I would put this. But uh, right now I'm on eBay. I figured I'd show you guys the parts that I ordered. I ordered a lot. I easily spent like $300 just in parts. I love spending money, lol. Okay. Waiting on that. I already got that. Here's where it all started. The clutch lever for my KX80 is broken. About here. I'm missing this, and it's a little annoying to pull in. So I ordered that. That was like three bucks. Then I got bored, so I figured I'd order a nice gear shifter, as you can see. You guys cannot see. Anyway, it's silver down here, silver, and then it's got like the blue little flexy thing. That was like 17. Then if we scroll up, KX80, I noticed that the front brake pads are fried, so I just ordered those 8.99. These should be the back pads for the KX80. Those were 7.50. The Polaris Predator 500 I have needed brakes, so I ordered. Um, is that the, oh yeah, that is the back set. Okay, those are 7.99. Then I ordered the front set for the Predator since they were about three uh, quarter there. Those were 16.99. Then the back uh, the back caliper of the Predator is leaking, and where the bolts go in are stripped. So I found a whole caliper that needed the brakes for $25 used, of course. The KX80, I have the seals are a little leaky. There's always some residue left on the forks. So I found this seal mate. I was told it really works. And anyway, it was only five fifty nine. dollars what, what you do is you just take out the dust cover and then that clears off all the dirt of the seal. Then I just bought a plug caddy for the heck of it. Keep some spark plugs on the go, just in case. This is where both the FMF fatty and the stock silencer connect. There's a little bit of a gap that needs to be closed, and that's what this is for. The muffler clamp, which is which was fourteen dollars. After I found one for nine dollars, but what are you gonna do? Then, since I can't find a cheap FMF silencer, I just bought some FMF packing, and that was uh ten twenty four. Reason being, um, is that my exhaust needs packing. I don't even care if this does not make it sound like an FMF or anything. Mine needs packing anyway. Scroll up. Then the dash of my 660 is missing the little reverse plastic cap. Because I lost it when I was changing the bulb. So I ordered the whole thing. I think that was like $15. Since all I need is that little bulb, I'm just going to try to paint the thing red and see what it looks like. Then my left front wheel bearings on the 660, I, I start to hear them uh, winding. And then whenever I do a wheelie, that's the, always the one wheel to lock up. So that, uh, those were uh, 998 Maybe $100, and maybe $200 in parts, not that much. Then one of the upper A-arm bearings had like this much of play in it on my Raptor 660 so I ordered those I was 22 and then I figured might as well do the other bearings too so those again were 998 might as well do the other A arm so that again was $22 I think we're about halfway there front and rear brakes for my Raptor since the front were about a quarter there and the back are about three quarters there so I'll just put all new brakes on it Ordered some nice blue Xeon bulbs for the Raptor. Those were 20 bucks. Ordered a grab bar that's a little broken right there for the Predator 500 since mine is not there. And that's about it. So, anyway, I am selling some stuff on eBay. 
There we go. Comment, kind of subscribe, and I'm gonna add up how much money this stuff costs me and put that in the description. So bye.